Hey, have you ever wondered how others store their clothing inventory for eBay or Poshmark? I thought I'd share with you how I store mine. It may not be the best way. It may give you ideas. It may not help you at all, but I thought I would share it nonetheless. So hopefully you get some sort of value out of this. Let me show you. I'm Tracy. I go by Uniquely Me on YouTube. I've been selling online for two years and I sell on eBay, Poshmark, and then some locally on Facebook Marketplace. I used to store my clothes in those big plastic bins that everybody has, which are fantastic. I have many, I use them all the time. But I used to store my inventory in those back here where these IKEA bags are. Um, what I found with that was that I couldn't really um, fit so much in there because they took up so much height on my shelf. So I wanted to bring my levels of my shelves down. These IKEA Fracta bags with zippers are an extremely cheap form of storage. They're very durable. They have handles. You can even strap them onto a wheeled cart that IKEA will sell you never done it I don't know how sturdy that cart is but I know a lot of resellers really love IKEA bags in general so you probably understand what I'm saying when they're the bomb.com these are awesome I'm gonna show you how now I've got these IKEA bags lined up on my shelves I've put letters on each one and I really don't sell a ton of clothes, so this is all I need right now. And I've got room for a couple more bags, but what I've decided to, I'm in the middle of changing around my inventory a little. And on the bottom, I'm going to be putting bags, women's shoes, I'll have men's shoes here. And I'll show you inside the bags in a minute how I do that. Um, so let's take a look inside how I do this. Okay, so I can reach in these bags or I can pull them off the shelves very easily and dig in to my inventory. I'm going to sit down on the floor and show you a little more detailed how I go about doing this. After I've listed my item on eBay, I will cross post it to Poshmark. And what I do is I put each individual item in a clear poly bag. I use the ones with the suffocation warning on them. It's already printed on. It's convenient for me and I can feel good about myself for doing the right thing. So once I get my item in the bag, I will assign it a letter and a number. And these are my available tags that I have that are not being used at the moment. So I never have to keep track of what inventory number I have available. It's here. If it's sold, it, the tag goes back in here. I never have to second guess anything. So this bag has two separate um, columns. It's divided, I've got one through 15 usually fits here and then 16 through 30 usually fits here. I usually get about 30 items in a bag, depending on the size. Sometimes there's thick sweaters or large jackets or thin silky tops that, you know, everything um, is a little different in size. I don't worry about that. I have 30 numbers for every container. If I can't, I can usually fit it, but if I can't, I'll figure, I'll just assign it a different number. So if I were to pull this out, say I sold E2. It's clipped on here, it's easy to find, and it's in numbered order, so I don't have to spend any time looking for my inventory at all. I know exactly where it is. So once it's sold, I will take off my clip, I will throw it back in my container, and that's when I decide to seal this up with the sticky tack here. I don't seal them beforehand because I may have to get back into this to give an extra measurement or to check on a something that a buyer is asking about. So I never seal these until they sell. Once I do sell it, I will seal that 
And I always put a little thank you sticker on here. I have different ones. It just depends on my mood and what makes me happy that day. So I'll put the sticker on here and put this in another poly bag, a shipping poly bag, and I'll send it on its way. So essentially, I always know where my things are. I never have to guess. And I don't have to pull down a heavy tote. These are fairly light, even when they're very full. So um, I also like the tag system like this with these little binder clips because I don't want to use stickers for every inventory number and to reuse, you know, to redo stickers each time. I feel like that's a waste of my money and that's maybe not so great for the environment to keep using paper stickers for your inventory number. This, I always have it. Until this gets destroyed, I can make a new one. It's just made out of cardstock and magic marker. It's super easy. I like the medium size clips. I've tried the small ones. I've tried the large ones. The medium size works best for me. It's not in the way. So this bag, let me see if I can show you, has a zipper that goes down the front side like that. So you can just reach in here. Nothing's going to fall out. But if you don't want to pull it off the shelf and you have one of the numbers that's up front, I don't have to pull this down. I can just unzip the front. But anyway, this bag is pretty awesome. It's got the handles here. And it's got backpack straps here if you wanted to use this for something else. So, you know, to um, lug it around somewhere else, you can put these around like a backpack. But it also has this here which goes on a cart that they sell that I told you about earlier. I, I don't I don't assume it's very sturdy, so I don't own one. But that would go down on the cart and then it has these straps here that have snaps. I don't know, somehow that holds it onto the cart too. Like I said, I don't use that part of it. But anyway, this keeps my inventory safe. It keeps it dust free. It's easy for me to use. And quite frankly, I have a love affair with Ikea bags, so it's cool. I have the other style of Fracta bag as well, many of them actually, and I've had them for years and never had to replace any. It's made a ripstop canvas. It's like a tarp, basically. So in each of these bags, I've got, because I'm a little freaky with the moths and the cashmere and the wool, I've got some of these mothball packets. You know, I don't want to have the smell of mothballs in my clothing. So these, I think I got these at Walmart, possibly the grocery store. I think you can get them anywhere. These are Eno's brand. Anyway, they have lavender scented herbs in them. So it doesn't make my clothes smell bad. It keeps the moths away. And um, the, the odor doesn't cling. See, it says right there. No clinging odor. So I throw a couple of these in each of these bags and I replace them about every six months. I don't know how long they really last. That's just what I do. And it says, kills clothing moths, carpet beetles, and their eggs and larvae when used in airtight containers. These aren't airtight, but they're pretty darn close. So that's fine with me. And I haven't had any issues with moths since I've been using those. Um, Next, I've got, this is new, let me move you a little, I've got my handbags in here. I'm still in the transitioning stage, so not all of them are here. My sticker's coming off, I'll redo it, but I've got quite a few handbags in here, I don't know how many, but it, it's not a beautiful sight, really, and I do need to wrap up some things, don't judge. Um, some of them I have wrapped, and I've just kind of put some in here recently so I can get um, organized. I'm in the process. We all know how that is. So I've got some that are already in their mailers, some that are tissue wrapped, and I need to tissue wrap all of these at least at the very minimums just to protect them. But I've, I haven't really decided if this is a good method for my bags yet, but 
I'm willing to give it a try and I'll let you know how it goes. Then after this one, I've, I've decided to put some of my shoes in here. Sorry for the noise. But I've got some women's casual shoes so far put in here and these are working out well. As far as men's shoes, I'm not so sure it's gonna work out because I pre-box most of my men's shoes um, just to keep them dust free and boxes aren't gonna really, it's not gonna work in here because the priority male shoe boxes are only gonna fit, I don't know, maybe six. That's not gonna work for me. So I've got those on an, in a different room. But these are my women's casual shoes and I'll do a women's um, dress shoe bag as well. So, like these boots, I just threw on the top because they're bulky and weird. But mostly, I put my um, women's shoes that are small enough in these flat rate envelopes, and it works well for me. I just write on the front what they are, and I tissue wrap each individual shoe to keep them from scuffing. And then when it comes time to ship them, I may give them more protection depending on the shoe. A tennis shoe is not going to need as much protection as a nice leather flat or something like that. So I've got quite a few pair in here. I haven't counted. Maybe, I don't know, maybe 20. So I'm cool with this system. I think it's going to work out well for casual shoes and some of my dress shoes that don't have boxes. I'll let you know on this one if it works out too. Who knows? I'm up for trying anything usually. So where do I put the inventory number in my listing? On eBay, I put it in the SKU, the custom SKU area where I put my price and other information that you might want you can put there, such as the date of purchase. Um, I also, in my eBay listing, put it in the description after all the information I give, which isn't a whole lot to be honest. I don't give a lot. I give measurements for sure and maybe a little bit of information about the item. But I don't spend a lot of time in the description, but I always put my inventory number in the description as well. And it saved me several times when maybe I mistyped the inventory number in my custom SKU. I can always go down the description and see you know, I, I usually type it correct in one of the two places, so I'm human, I make errors, it saved me a few times. In Poshmark, I put it in my description at the very bottom as well. So this way, I always have a good tracking of my um, item. I am not a spreadsheet girl. I, I use them for some finances, but I don't track my inventory that way. This has been a huge help for me to have my inventory done this way. So I wanted to share it with you and see if maybe you could utilize some of the information that I use and maybe it could help you. But if not, that's cool too. But I would love to know what you use for an inventory system or if you have any ideas to better mine. I know it's not perfect, it's just what's working for me right now. So feel free to leave a comment and um, I would love it if you subscribed. I don't know how often I'm going to put out videos, but I'd like to continue. I'm having fun, and I've made a lot of good friends here on YouTube, and I'm going to continue my journey. So thank you. I want you to have a great day, and I want you to make wise choices.